me now is Kava Madani. As the former deputy head of Iran's Department of Environment, he was once tasked with helping Iran find sustainable solutions to its climate challenges. But politics got in the way and forced him out of Iran. He joins me now from uh, Toronto. We saw these water protests over the summer and they turned deadly in Iran. How likely are these protests that we've seen over the past weekend, uh, how likely are they to, to grow? Um, they are very likely to grow. Um, of course, everything depends on um, the skies. If, if there is rain, um, there, mm. there, there would be a band-aid for a while. But, but if, if there is no rain, uh, farmers are going to protest. They, they want um, water in the fall for irrigating their crops. They're worried about the future. And as we talked even in the past about it, we will see these problems appearing in different parts of the country because Iran has not prepared for this situation. It, it simply ignored water as a limit to growth. It, 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 it continued to grow its agriculture industry and, and cities in some places which were absolutely dry, very dry, thinking that with technology and money, it, it can um, overcome the, the challenge, this natural limitation, but we are seeing this, this situation today. I mean, this river has been a lifeline for many farmers in the region and a symbol of Esfahan for centuries. Just explain briefly to our viewers what led to the river drying up, if you will. Um, this is a situation of water bankruptcy, and I think um, all our, mm. your, your viewers should be familiar with this concept. We will see it more and more around the world. Uh, water managers um, didn't anticipate um, the, the limitations that would be caused by drought and climate change, didn't think about the developments, population growth and um, the new demands. In, in the future, they started allocating water to too many needs without thinking how much water they actually have. And now we have a lot of water right holders and water users, but not enough water in the accounts. So, so essentially, um, mm. the, the system is bankrupt and it's, it's about to collapse. And Iran has blamed the worst drought in 50 years for these water shortages, while sanctions, of course, have absolutely crippled the economy. What toll do you believe sanctions have played on the environment in Iran? Uh, when, when you um, put a pressure on a country which has a, an, a certain ideology, it, it's not going to give up on mm. its ideology. It, it would um, adopt all survivalist policies possible um, to be able to fight back. And, and when, when the priority is that pursuing that ideology environment has, has no room, no space in public policy, uh, the, the economy becomes actually more natural resource dependent. The, gov the, the, the rulers and governors start extracting more and more resources and, and, and using water to provide jobs to the poor and, and survive economically. So, so uh, sanctions are, are not the cause of Iran's water bankruptcy. Climate change is not the cause of water bank bankruptcy, but they certainly have a role to play. Now, it's easy for, the, for those in charge to blame the external um, you know, causes and the enemy for the problems that they had to plan for. Um, the, you know, the, the problem in Iran is, is has been created by decades of poor management, lack of foresight and unsustainable development. Mm. And you're right. I mean, authorities have been accused of mismanagement for years. Is there any evidence that President Raisi um, has any intention uh, to address the concerns of protesters? I don't. I mean, there would be promises, like as always, um, the, the 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 ministers, the the the, the president would go and, and make some promises. They they cut, they start compensating the farmers for lack of water. They talk about some uh, new water project. This is something we have been seeing over and over. Um, so I I don't think any any uh, anything different would be um, expected here. But, but if Iran wants to address its water bankruptcy problem fundamentally, it must, do, it must um, re revise its economic model. It has to reduce the pressure of its e e economy on natural resources. And to do that, it, you know, the, mm. Iran also needs to think about its nuclear plans, its relationship with the rest of the world, and so many other things. So this problem is not a water problem only. And we are expecting uh, these talks to resume, of course, next week. We will uh, get a sense of where these discussions are with regard 
um, the U.S. getting back into the JCPOA and what you know what's uh, what, what what Washington's moves will be as uh, as far as sanctions are concerned. Um, leaving that aside for a moment, because we will, as a show, um, ensure that our viewers get a real sense of what's going on uh, with that Iran file. Uh, the country did join India at COP26 in objecting to the inclusion of fossil fuels in any agreement. What, what is Iran's approach to the climate crisis? Is it clear? I mean, Iran has, has consistently um, said in, in, in international forum that it considers itself a, a, um, a victim of, of climate change. It, it, it believes in climate change, so Iran is not denying climate change. But, but then when it comes to action, it, it remi Iran uh, tries to remind the rest of the world that the, accum the cumulative uh, greenhouse gas emissions that Iran have uh, has produced since the industrial revolution is nothing compared to the you know what the industrial economies have done so Iran asks for for help for for financial assistance for uh, technology transfer and you know removing sanctions lifting sanctions to become a player still Iran has to protect its 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 fossil fuel revenues it, its economy is dependent on fossil fuels and it cannot you, you know it, behave radically so it tries to behave keep up the face and and be an it be an international player while also blocking certain things which are not in its national interest good to have you on sir uh, important stuff thank you very much indeed